True, I've never felt love before. How do I get people to like me? I need friends. Every day I hear my lizards having rough nestering sex in their cage and uh, someone comes in and asks me these questions and it stumps me. Now, frankly, it, it interrupts my viewing experience. But I wanted to answer all these questions because I think it's as important as shit and I want you guys to share experiences with me. I want to teach. Method A is something that I like to call answering the invisible question. The idea here is, you know, why wait for your peers to throw these questions at you? You know, it's not a job interview, a trivial pursuit, but if you simply answer the invisible question that may not have been asked yet, but gosh darn it, it's going to be answered. It will ensure godlike qualities every time. You will be God on fire and everyone will love you. I like to use celebrity name dropping in my invisible questions. Yeah. Ashton? Is Ashton Kutcher my friend? Yeah, that's my buddy. What? Grandpa? Oh, oh, you said Joe Jonas. That confused me because Joe Jonas is my grandpa and I switched him up. Yeah, Joe Jonas is my grandpa. Miley? Oh, yeah. I know a lot of Miley's. Oh, Miley Cyrus. Yeah, um, yeah, she, you know, she's a cool girl. I play basketball with her. We moved in together. MLK Jr.? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, Martin. That's my buddy. I used to work with him, actually. I kind of, I helped him write his speeches. Um, let me think of something good I gave him. I remember once, this isn't that good, but I kind of told him, I like, I kind of threw this out there. I was like, hey, how about you start it with, I have a dream, and he kind of ran with that, but whatever. But one serious rule with that one, guys, you can't lie. You don't want to give the wrong impression on someone. You know, no bending of the truth, no stretching of the truth. Wink. You, you can. You can lie if you want. Method two is called received though not yet given. Eventually these people will be caressing you daily, you know, nurturing you, holding you, holding that a body that your mother gave you. But with method two there's no waiting. You will stand proudly in front of them and receive that affection you've always wanted and they, they will see what, they will see what you want. I don't give it to you. They'll give it to you. I'm sorry, do you need something? Mmm, it's starting. Mmm, mmm, you're hugging me. Oh, uh, you're caressing me. Mmm, I feel the friendship. Mmm, a nice little warm tap on the asshole. I like that. It brings me back home. When I say home, I mean roller derby. <laughs> oh, you're petting my abs. Oh, you're petting my abs because we're friends. We're going for a high five? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> now method five, if you haven't gotten that love that you're looking for yet, you may be doing it wrong. But everyone's different and some people are slow at this. So method five I present to you is called boy band switching song. And it sounds like what it is. You come at them with this ditty and they won't know what hit them. And they'll feel love for you. And Backstreet Boys, Backstreet Boys, Backstreet Boys, Backstreet Boys, here it comes. And sink, and sink, throw in a girl group. I will, five girls, don't worry about it. Guess who made cookies? <laughs> no one did.